Hey guys, bringing you, it's Belio here, bringing you a game of Domination on Havana. Just to give you a heads up, uh, I'm, a little, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, as you would say. So a little bit sick, stiff on the nose, as you can tell, probably. So anyway, I, I just gotta tell you quickly before I get into my life and how it brought me to this video. Um, earlier today, about probably an hour ago actually, when I got out of school, I, w I was bike riding home to my friend Evans. I guess to his house just to chill and hang out and it turns out on my way home because he on the way to his house I totally biffed it with my bike I just totally wiped out scraped up my knee like just ripped it up ripped up my fingers and I got mud all over me and my bike so yeah anyway probably you guys probably didn't really care too much but I just thought I'd share that with you so anyway I'm gonna start talking about my life and brought me to this video. So yeah, anyway, it started when I was about 9 or 10 years old when my mom got me my Nintendo 64, which I wasn't expecting because I wasn't really a gamer like 7 years ago. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not really. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, she got me the Nintendo 64 with uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, Star Wars Galactic something, and Donkey Kong. So yeah, I really enjoyed those games, which pretty much led to right now today gaming still uh, my mom didn't really approve of Conker's Bad Fur Day but my dad kinda picked it up for me cause he knew what I liked and stuff cause I'm obviously his kid <laughs> but yeah I played that for a couple of years really enjoyed it cause you can do so much in those games right and pretty hard cause I'm brand new to gaming so then I heard about the new gaming system that was coming out called the PS2, which I was just thrilled that was coming out because I was so, I so wanted it. So yeah, that whole year, pretty much from the last Christmas to the, that Christmas that I got the PS2, I was begging every day, sending my mom, calling my mom, sorry, on the house phone to her cell phone, just, hey mom, dude, it'd be nice if I had a PS2 stuff like that so yeah that Christmas I was opening all my presents and after I was done opening all of them there was no PS2 and I was just my heart just dropped I, I, I asked for it and I didn't get it but I got a lot of sweet other stuff so it was it was kinda okay but yeah that night during the Christmas Christmas dinner um, my mom made me open another gift and it turns out it was the PS2. Well, what, what, what do you know, eh? Yeah, by the way, I am Canadian. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, I got the PS2, got some Medal of Honor, uh, Rising Sun. And I was in love with the PS2 because the graphics were so much better. And even though today they're kind of crappy, but whatever. Played that for a couple of years. I was really enjoying it. I did not a little bit longer. I got Metal of Honor European Assault, which was even better than Rising Sun. The little trilogy there. With, uh, I think it was Rising Sun, uh, something Beach, and European Assault. So, yeah. And then I went over to my cousin Brandon's house, and he had Call of Duty 3, and I tried that out, and that's when I knew I was going to be a Call of, Call of Duty fan for a long time. So, yeah, I got into Call of Duty. I asked my mom if I could get it, and I got Call of Duty. I think three, yeah. And then what do you know about a couple months later, there's a new gaming system coming out called the Xbox 360, which I had to have. And so that pretty much that year from Christmas uh, to uh, the following Christmas where I got the Xbox 360, I was begging all year again. Yeah, so I was just pumped. That year because I thought I was going to get it and this time she made me open it first and I did not like that because I had to wait even though I got all the games like Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty World at War, uh, WWE, NHL, stuff like that so I was pumped to try it out and I put it in the first game which was uh, Call of Duty 4 and it was amazing it was probably one of my favorite um, Call of Duty games that I played. That in World of War, because World of War there wasn't any really noob tubes, but there was a lot of hacking. 
Even though I enjoyed being in the hack lobbies. <laughs> we would jump super high. Got like a million points per kill or whatever that was. That was crazy. Yeah. And then um, Call of Duty 5, or Call of Duty 4, sorry, was just an all around awesome game. Even though there's only a couple guns that were being used, like the MP5, M16, AK-47, and the M4 OA-3, that sniper. Which I was, I love it. I didn't really care because it's pretty much everybody using the same thing cause, so you couldn't really complain about different guns being really overpowered because everybody uses the same things. Then a uh, couple, about a year later after World at War out, Modern Warfare 2 came out, which which I loved as well. It, for the first three months there was no noob tube, the, the, the spotting was okay, the gameplay was amazing, the maps were amazing. Like, I didn't really have a problem with any of the maps. Maybe Skid, not Skid Row, sorry. <laughs> Derail, because it was so boring. Like, everybody has those maps where they don't really like them. And that was my, that was my map. Like, Wetlands on Call of Duty 4 was garbage. And Airfield, I wasn't too fond of that for World of War. Yeah, for Modern Warfare 2, it was really enjoyable. A lot of... A lot of good gameplay. I thought the snipers were awesome. I like how snipers actually in that game kill you in one shot instead of Security games Alpha. like, well, Call of Duty 4 was good. World at War was not that great. Except for the PTRS, even though you could get like three hit marks in a row, like I got. But anyway, yeah. Everything in that game seemed to have my eye. And then, like the following year, I heard about the newest call. Call of Duty that was coming out was uh, Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops, and I was pretty pumped for that. And then I pre ordered that pretty much instantly after I heard it was coming out on TV, like on the commercials and stuff with all the like Kobe Bryant and all those famous people. Yeah, so I pre ordered that. We had to wait a couple months, right? I, uh, I went to uh, EB Games to pick up my copy that I pre ordered. And I played that, put that in for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. It's a, gr it a great game to start. But since I've been playing it for a while, like lately, I've been getting a little bored of Call of Duty. Well, not Call of Duty in general. Like I still play an odd time of putting World of War in four, and then um. Just like Black Ops just seems to get boring because there's the maps aren't the greatest. Like Banner, for example, is a pretty good map, but if you get if you get spawn trapped and see you're screwed. But yeah, it was just overall getting a little boring right now. But I'm starting to get a little bit back into it. Like some some good things about Black Ops is like I love the wager matches. Those never get boring for me. Um, the guns are pretty much the same. Um, the maps are uh, uh, a little bit to improve. Like the first map hack wasn't the greatest, except for Stadium. Um, maybe the spawn points could use some work, but wager matches are overall biggie for me, which I really like. So yeah, I, I'm just overall game so far is okay. I'm getting a little bit more into it because uh, Travis <laughs> tries to keep me in the corner. Nice try. Um, but yeah, in the future, I'm just uh, looking for some hints, some help with my commentary style, some tips that you would like me f to do for my commentary style, as I just said previous. But yeah, I'm also I'm also think I'm gonna start a top ten series, which I don't know. If what it's going to be called, you know, maybe MLG plays, law moments, stuff like that. So yeah, this is my gameplay. I finished with a score of uh, 63 and 7. And for the future, I, if you guys can subscribe, comment, rate, it would really help my videos in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you another time. And see you guys later.